Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Heather. And you're going to have to excuse the way I sound today. I'm a little bit froggy, a little bit congested. Of course, everybody knows all the stuff is just blooming everywhere right now. So, not doing my asthma a whole lot of favors, but just bear with me. Today we have a plan with me. We're going to be planning for Monday the 22nd of March through Sunday the 28th of March. And let's take a look back at last week. I am actually on Sunday the 21st. But this was a planner cake kit called Lucky. And I loved this kit. Um, just the traditional St. Patrick's Day vibes. I love the little decorative touches that I was able to add to the spread. I even put a shamrock at the end of the weekend script and it turned out really cute. So I thoroughly enjoyed this kit. Well, let's look ahead to this week. Today we have another planner cake kit and this is called Spring is Coming. This is kit number 314. And of course the first day of spring was yesterday being Saturday but I just thought this was a really cute lead into the month of April so we have the sampler then washi individual date headers already filled out and many event labels because this kit is so light especially this full box here I did white out the month font on this side. I also whited out the mini calendar, which normally looks like this. So I went on and whited that out because I was pretty sure it would show through this box. But all the touches of this kit are pale, except for this pop of navy, which I actually love. I'm going to go ahead and get this washi down off the sampler. I hope everyone has had a good weekend so far and had a good week last week. We did have the threat of severe weather on Thursday, but luckily we were spared. I know there were some places that did get hit pretty bad with storms and tornadoes. So we did get lucky because they were predicting it to get pretty bad here all right so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm going to get my thin washi my date headers my meal tracking boxes and my weather down for the week have meal tracking boxes ready the weather through Wednesday I'll go back on Wednesday evening and fill the rest of the week out I have my thin washi down and my date headers so the next thing I'm going to do while it's on my mind I'm notorious about forgetting this I'm going to get my weekend banner down actually it's just a script sticker but I love it and then I'm going to do my bottom bar down here and I'm going to take the this week script sticker that is on the sampler and I think I'm going to do this yellow box for some reason that just calls to me And I haven't talked about this in a while, but what I use this section for, if there's something that needs to be done during the week, but not on a specific day, then I will put that in this box here. If I don't get it done during the week, then I will transfer it to next week's 
box at the bottom. But it's just things that do need to be done, but don't have a certain time frame that they have to be done. So that's what I use this for. I also keep a cleaning rotation. I have two schedules I go by. I'm not sure. I was marking that down. Let me show you here. Clean house. And I have a schedule A and a schedule B. I haven't been doing that recently. Um because I'm kind of making some decisions about next year, and I'll go over that in another video, but I'm not going to include that in the box for this week. I believe we are ready to start planning. So on Monday, I do get some happy mail, my next planner Kate order comes in which means that I will be filming my April kit video so that will be coming out soon let's do I'm going to take this polka dot box here And I'll put that right there. Monday will also more than likely be a grocery day. Here we go. It says grocery shop. And I think just to give Monday a little pop of fun, I'm going to put the grocery shop and doodle girl right there. So let's move this box over just a tiny bit to give her some room. Alright, Tuesdays and Thursdays my daughter has tennis clinic so I'm going to go ahead and put the appointment labels down. Her clinics are pretty late in the day but until I know more about how my week is going to fill in I'm just going to keep them in the middle of the day. So I'm going to take these tennis ball icons from Planner Kate and I will mark down the times for her clinic. Back to Wednesday, I need to work on my budget book and I will more than likely do that in the evening. So I'll take that box and this script sticker from Planner Kate. It says budget. And this is titled shopping on the on Planner Kate's Etsy store. But she's got uh, dollars with her. And you know, nobody nobody likes to have to budget. So I just thought this would be a cute way to indicate when I needed to look at the budget book so I'm going to use her for that. Thursday I'm going to go ahead and put garbage day down because that's more than likely when it will be. Trash day right here. Still haven't gotten used to this icon sheet where things are so all right a few things on Friday. Planner Kate does new releases, meaning she has new sticker designs, new Doodle Girls possibly, um, that kind of thing that come out on that Friday, on this Friday here. She usually does a sneak peek the day before. It is also my husband's payday, so I'm going to put that down. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. So for my asthma, and I'm kind of glad that I'm going because I'm having a hard time and I think it's because of the stuff that's blooming right now. So I'll be going to that Friday. Saturday is going to be my normal planner time 
and what I what I normally do um because I haven't talked about this in a while either normally what that is reserved for is to go ahead and look forward to the next week as far as lesson plans um for my daughter's homeschooling uh meal planning that kind of thing um also catching up i keep this page reserved for my photo memories and i have not done february's yet so i will probably be sure that my um sprocket is charged and go ahead and get photos printed out for february and may go ahead and start looking towards march photos because we're almost at the end of march guys i just i, I it floors me how quickly this year is going by but so that's kind of the things I do during planner time I get things caught up and then look ahead to the next week I've talked about this Sunday reset sticker before that's on the icon or on the mini event label sheet I love this sticker and it would be even better if it was on straight There we go. And then Sunday evening is The Walking Dead. I'm going to show you guys this. I talked about this in my planner supply haul. If you did not see that video, I will link it in the description box. This is the Sticker Stash book by Planner Kate. And basically what it is, is it's a bunch of sheets of sticker backing where you can take stickers from leftover kits, place them on here, and then use them whenever you want to. These icon dots are the ones that I reach for the most, and that's what I decided to start this book with. So I'm going to put the little TV icon right here to remind myself that The Walking Dead does come on. There's two more episodes for this season, and then they will move to the final season, which makes me sad, but all good things must come to an end, and a lot of people say that they should have ended it by now, but I've enjoyed the characters and that kind of thing. Okay, I think we are done with planning for the week, so the next thing that I want to do is switch out my cover. Right now, I have the Shimmering Shamrocks cover. It is still available on ErinCondren.com. But I want to switch to something a little more Eastery. And I showed this in my planner supply haul. Again, I'll link that in the description box below. This design was from the Gold Project on Etsy. And I love it. I love the little chocolate bunny in the background and just the really pretty pale colors in it. So because Easter is coming up, not this week, but next week, I wanted to go ahead and pull this out and get to enjoy it a little bit. Um, I did get some more information on the planner covers that she does. Basically what she has said is they're removed from the shop right now. And once a month, she may put them back out for a few days. At this point, that's really kind of all I know. So I did look back at some um, comments on her Facebook page about it. And that's what she said, that she may put them out a few days each month. And there may be some new covers. So I would definitely check her out. I will link her Etsy store below. She has also started making planner stickers and is doing very well with that. So I would check those out as well. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and switch my cover. Okay, we are all set for Easter. Okay, one last shot of this week's spread. I'm loving the pale, pretty colors leading into spring. And I'm going to really enjoy this. I will try to remember. I've not been real good about it 
I will try to remember on Thursday to put a half week picture on Facebook and then the rest of the week on Sunday. So if you are not following me on Facebook, that is the best place to follow me. And I will leave that information in the description box as well. If you have any questions on anything I've gone over in this plan with me, please leave it in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed a little me time, and I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Bye.